Jose Mourinho is going to spend plenty of money this summer as Manchester United manager. So is Jurgen Klopp at Liverpool. So is Pep Guardiola at Manchester City. Clubs around us are going to spend big as well. But who should Manchester United sign? How should Jose Mourinho spend his summer budget? Here is who I think Jose Mourinho should sign if he's going to spend £200 million. First up is our new centre-back. Now, I am going for Victor Lindelof. £35 million there or thereabouts. Now, we have obviously been linked with Virgil van Dijk. Unlucky Liverpool. We've also been linked with Michael Keane from Burnley. But I think on paper, out of those three options, and because I'm spending money elsewhere in this budget, I would like to see Lindelof come in. I'm unsure about him, but I was unsure about Eric Bailly. And if Jose Mourinho wants him and thinks he's good enough, then I trust his judgment because Jose Mourinho gets defensive signings right. He got by spot on. Ideally, I'd like to have Van Dijk, but he's going to cost 50, 60 million. So it's a lot. And I don't think Michael Keane would be enough for Manchester United on his own. I think if we sign Keane, we need to supplement it with another signing. But if we sign Lindelof, our centre-back options could be Bay, Lindelof, Rojo, Blind, Tuanzebe, Jones and Smalling. Maybe Jones and Smalling, they might not be here next season. But that's a plenty of options there. And I think Lindelof, hopefully, could come in and have the same sort of impact that Bailly had. And maybe they can have a partnership that will give Man United the best defence we've had since Rio and Vidic in their pomp. Now, we definitely, definitely need a defensive midfielder this summer. Michael Carrick has been tasked with playing that a lot this season, but he's too old to carry that mantle on his own. And the player I've gone for is Bakayoko. The Monaco destroyer in midfield. Again, price tag roughly around £35 million. He did it so well at Monaco last season, allowing the likes of Bernardo Silva to really express themselves in a playmaker type role. But if you can imagine a midfield three next season with Bakayoko sitting at the bottom of a V shape with Pogba on the left central midfield and Herrera on the right central midfield, that would be the best midfield that Manchester United have had in a long, long time. And it would allow Pogba and Herrera to express themselves a hell of a lot more going forward. Pogba was tasked with defending quite a bit last season. We don't want him to be doing that. We want Pogba in the opposition's half. That's where he can make the damage. And someone like Bakayoko sitting there in a Kante type role, sweeping up, cleaning up, winning the ball back and feeding it to Pogba and Herrera. That player, Bakayoko, hopefully, could make so much difference in the middle for Man United next season. Now, the third signing I'm going for is Ivan Perisic. Once again, I'm saying £35 million, there or thereabout. He is a left winger like we haven't got in the squad. Perisic is a player who naturally likes to go outside rather than cuts inside. We've got Mata, Martial, Mkhitaryan. All these players are excellent footballers, but all of them have a tendency to cut outside and go towards the edge of the box. Perisic is somebody who can burst down the wing and actually get a good cross in. That's a player, a type of player that we don't have and we haven't had in a while. And somebody who would add a real different style to Man United going forward. We can be very predictable at times. Someone like Perisic can change that. And he very much looks like a Mourinho type signing. He's big, he's powerful, he's consistent, he's strong and he's committed. He looks like a warrior. And I expect him to be potentially Jose Mourinho's first signing this summer. But I definitely think that he could come and make some real, real difference to these attacking options that we have. And something else I think he would do as well is allow Anthony Martial to play in a more central role. Maybe we'll see Martial play more as a number nine next season. And someone like Perisic coming in and really taking hold of that left wing position. Now here's one major signing that I think Man United may need to make this summer. Wayne Rooney is leaving, so we need somebody to come in and operate in that number 10 role. Yes, Wayne Rooney didn't play last year, but we need more attacking options. And down here, James Rodriguez. He's been touted as a £60 million signing. And Manchester United were going to sign that in Antoine Griezmann and more. He was going to be, what, €100 million? Euros? He was going to operate in that sort of number 10 supporting striker role. But Rodriguez can do that as well. You know, he, he's nearly as twice as effective on a goal per minutes ratio than any of our attackers were last season. And yes, he is world class. He tore it up at the World Cup with Colombia. And he hasn't really ever torn it up consistently at Real Madrid, but he's hardly ever been in the team under Zidane. And he's still a player that has so much more to offer. He can play in that number 10 role, play on the left wing if necessary, and play as a left central midfielder. So he's got versatility to his game. He's more of a, an expressive player. 
So not your typical Jose Mourinho signing as such, but someone who sort of falls into the Meza Ozil role. That's the sort of position that he can operate in. And Man United need options next year. Maybe Rodriguez wouldn't start every single game. Yes, that would be a lot to spend on a, a 60 million, a lot to spend on a player that wouldn't start every game, but Man United need a squad next year. We're back in the Champions League. We need to be competing in the Premier League next year as well for that title. And to do that, we need players. And we need players like Rodriguez, and he could add so much to our attack. Now, arguably our most important signing next year is gonna be a new striker. We have been linked to so many. You can say Griezmann in there, you can say Lukaku, you can also say Alvaro Morata. And he is a player I've got down here. Manchester United have already given two bids for him, so I'd be very surprised if we didn't sign a 24-year-old from Real Madrid. And for me, the more I look at him, the more I read up about him, the more I watch videos of him, the more I think he could be a fantastic centre forward for Jose Mourinho and this Manchester United team. He's not just the six foot two, brawly attacker that stays and has hold up play. He's dynamic, he's got pace to his game, he's got dribbling to his game. And more than most, he is a clinical finisher. A goal every 89 minutes last season in La Liga. Manchester United needs someone like that. If we had just had someone like Morata last year, we may have finished second or third. We would have been right up there challenging for the Premier League. That's why I think a striker is the most important signing that Jose Mourinho can make this summer and why it looks like it's going to be our first one. So if we did make all five of those signings, that's £225 million. A hell of a lot of money to spend. But when you see Man City already signing Edison for like £35 million, Bernardo Silva for £50 million, Liverpool tried to sign Van Dijk for £60 million, teams around us are spending big. It's just what the Premier League is now. There's so much money in it that you have to spend money to win it. And that's what Man United are gonna do this summer. But out of these five signings, which do you agree with or disagree with? Let me know how you would spend 225 million pounds if you were Jose Mourinho. Leave your signings in the box below. We're gonna do another one of these on players that potentially should be sold by Jose Mourinho this summer. As always, drop a like on the video, people. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you soon.